Welcome back, Tam Fam. In the new Lifetime thriller, Every Breath She Takes, Tamala Jones stars as a woman trying to leave her past behind and deal with the traumatic aftermath of her abusive husband's apparent death. And when the police reveal they're now investigating her for her husband's murder, Tamala's character, Jules, confronts her mother-in-law, played by Jack A. Harry, about what's really going on. Let's look at this clip. You're not a strong woman, Jules. You couldn't handle it in the way I do. Every day I've got to live with this. Billy's dead. I'm not so sure he is. What are you talking about? It's just I... I keep seeing him. No, you don't. Do you think that Billy would ever fake his death? For what? For what purpose? I, I don't know. Maybe to get, get back at me. Selfish girl. What a horrible suggestion. Ooh. And not only is Tamala starring in every breath she takes, she's also executive producer of it. Please welcome to the Tam Fam, actress Tamala Jones. You tweeted out that you were coming on the show. Oh, I couldn't help All myself. of my tweets blowing up. People are like, Tam and Tam. <laughs> Tam joins the Tam fam. <laughs> Thank you. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be oh here. Oh, my God. Look at the tweet. I'm tuning in. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> my, our favorite was <laughs> Tam Power. I love it. We need to create a designing line or something. Tam Power there. Uh, congratulations on this executive producer starring in it. Thank you. <laughs> Our friend Jackie Harry is the is the the, the mother-in-law no one wants. But you, <laughs> I mean, she's intense. She is. She surprised me. I, she surprised me too because I, I only know her. She's always effervescent. Exactly what you see is what you get. So this character was really a departure. It was. But she I, and I really wanted her to just do it one time. Ooh, Mary. <laughs> But she didn't do it, and I didn't ask. <laughs> Don't but ask. She did. <laughs> but she did wonderful yeah. in this role. This is intense. Yeah. I mean, your character, Jules, um, survives an abusive relationship. And I know that when you looked at this script, you really wanted to be part of this, particularly because it also deals with mental abuse, which is not talked about a lot. Yes. Um, a lot of people think abuse just comes in a physical form, and abuse can be mental abuse. It could be emotional abuse. Yeah. And this character, Jules, she suffered a lot of that. And I think sometimes with women, because we're so nurturing and loving, we get in a relationship and we fall in love. And then some, some not all the time, but sometimes it may decline and, and you try to fight your way back to get to where it was before. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't realize in that time you are kind of being abused. This person is taking you down to a level and you are trying to fight back to what that person was right. and there's no way. And that's what we find Jules in this thriller and um, I don't want to give it away, but I won't give it away, you gotta watch <laughs> it. But I mean, the Lifetime audience, they are real. Yes. This world of thrillers, my mother, I call my mother, what are you doing? Watching Lifetime, I gotta go by. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time my mother said, I'm watching Lifetime, gotta go, I'd be a millionaire. You have so many projects that people love dearly. Uh, the sitcom, For Your Love, with our friend Holly Robinson Pete. Yes. Um, <laughs> the Wood, which of course what still remains uh, one of my favorite films. And people keep talking about reboots. Will you reboot? One or the other, what's going on? Well, the wood is... It's, under, it's underway now. It's underway. Yeah. We're just waiting to hear back from the network what, what are we doing, but we did shoot the pilot for You that. shot the pilot yes. for the wood. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it is one of my favorites. If you've never seen it, that's the kind of film. Put it in this weekend. <laughs> it's a catch-up so you're prepared for the reboot here. And um, that has to be so fun for you. When I call my cousins, my cousin looks at the lineup mm -hmm. of our show. I'm like, Erica, who's this? She goes, oh, my gosh, Tamela's on. <laughs> I mean, your fans love you because of your resilience, I think, in Hollywood all these years. 
I appreciate their love and they have been there for me through thick and thin. I have gone through some things privately that I just recently started speaking about, the brain aneurysm. All right, well, let me pause you there because I didn't know that. Um, was it 26 years ago? Yeah. 26 years ago, your career um, stopped. You suffered a brain aneurysm. Mm -hmm. I was born with it. Um, I uh, wasn't expecting that and no one else was. It, it was a headache that happened for two weeks straight. I was taking all the sinus medicine and, and Tylenol. I sh probably should have took an aspirin. Um, and it kept going and one morning I woke up I didn't have any balance. I felt like I had to urinate really bad and I stumbled to the toilet, nothing came out. My head started hurting really bad and then I hit the floor. And when I got up, the right side of my body was numb. I was scheduled to shoot the very last day of the fourth season of Four Year Love. Called my boss, I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can't come in. She was like, you gotta come in. We'll have a set doctor look at you. And so I got in the car, not realizing that this was done and my right foot was so heavy I had to put my left foot and manually on the brake and manually move this off of the of the gas pedal and I drove to work left foot left hand worked all day my arm was stuck like this and they kept throwing purses and jackets and no one knew like they no one I was what so young. What did they young. think it happened? What, what did you think was going on? I didn't know. You didn't know and you worked a whole day? Whole day got to the hospital and the doctor was like, I am in awe that you're alive, let alone worked a whole day. So a lot of people had never heard this about your career because you didn't talk about it publicly. You got better, you started you know, your career getting films, getting roles, but one of the messages that you've taken from that is really to listen to your body. Listen to, to, your, listen body. to your body. Listen to your body. So 26 years later, mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel great. Yes, all right. <laughs> I'm alive. Uh, yes, yes, I'm still able to do. Thank you. I'm still able to do what I love to do. I love this business. I love what we do. I love acting. And I. Well, we love you acting, <laughs> and this movie is juicy. Up next, why working with Keisha Campbell was a full circle moment for Tamala. Their surprising connection after the break. Look who I get to work with today. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Tamala Jones. She's so freaking talented. <laughs> Country, welcome back to FM. That was Tamala Jones behind the scenes of her new Lifetime thriller, Every Breath She Takes, with another Tam fan favorite, Tisha Campbell, who plays the detective who suspects that Tamala's character may have murdered her husband. I love this as a full circle moment for you, Tisha, who I adore. You um, were on the set of House Party when she starred in that iconic movie, but here's the deal. You were not in the movie. <laughs> you were 14 years old working in catering. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It. My family had a catering business and something happened with the original caterers. They fired them and then they called my family and we're on the set. I met everyone, kid and play. I was like, oh my God! You were 14, <laughs> like. 14. <laughs> that is amazing. And I met Tisha and everyone was nice, but Tisha took me like I was her little baby sister that day. And I fell in love with her and I've been stalking her ever since. Oh my God, <laughs> and so you get to work together. I love, I love to hear about jobs that people had early on in life. You were a babysitter. Mm -hmm. And you happened to babysit a very famous actress right now. Yes. Blake Lively. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Look at her. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Blake, okay, so long story short, I went to a ton of acting classes oh. to, to, and that was the advice of Tisha Campbell's mom. Go to a bunch acting. Of okay. acting classes, so I did. I met a representative who wanted to just, you know, try me out for a little bit. I'm gonna send you out on some auditions. And then that person took me to Blake Lively's parents. They took headshots, they gave me um, uh, lessons. So on they had acting. an acting school. They had they, an acting uh -huh. school. And then they became managers. So when they became managers, I was already going to their acting school and I would babysit Blake. So that's Blake's parents and Blake, and you would babysit Blake. Right. 
to attend school because I couldn't afford to do it. <laughs> so I would get Blake and babysit her. And sometimes when my mom would like bake for them and make them like, you know, for their party, bake goods or whatever. Also, I could go to this school. And oh, if it wow. weren't for Blake Lively's parents, I probably wouldn't be here today. They that were so highly sweet. instrumental okay. in getting me started. What what kind of, first of all, what kind of babysitter were you? Were you the babysitter on the phone talking to the boyfriend? Were you the babysitter that said, you gotta go to bed, your parents got, what kind of babysitter? No, Blake was not, you did not get on the phone and talk to the boyfriend. Blake would be like, come and play with me. <laughs> come on, play with me. You always had to play with her, so I was always playing with her. I would bathe her, I'd put her, you know, read her a story and put her to bed. And then that would be when the acting classes would start, like around six or seven. Wow. Yeah. You know what, you've always worked hard and that starts from the beginning of the career to where you are now. You've earned and you deserve all of this. All of this. Well, congratulations on the movie. Every Breath She Takes premieres on Lifetime this weekend. Check your local listings.